Hi, Mary Cyphers here for Mary Cyphers Ministries with another in our series of virtual worship questions, helping you ask the right questions and explore potential answers. Today we're asking, how do you decide how to create a hybrid worship service? I've got three questions or three tips for you to consider as you explore this question of creating a hybrid worship service. Knowing these are complicated questions, we will be hosting a full webinar on the topic this Wednesday, May 19. Stay tuned to the end of this video for full details on how you can register, or just look in the description below and click on the registration link. Well, first, let me just encourage you to do so. We have gained so many opportunities to serve a larger mission field and to care for people who need to worship from home by creating online worship opportunities. I know we're excited to get back for in-person gatherings and it would be easy to put all of your focus there, but I encourage you to continue serving both the people who will be gathering in your worship space and the people who have been worshiping and will continue worshiping from their homes, their businesses, and even their travels. And so when you put those two together, I call it hybrid worship. As you think about hybrid worship, I invite you to ask these three questions. First, is live streaming the best option for us and our church? If you have the right people and the right equipment, this might seem obvious, but those are complicated questions. Do you have the right equipment? Do you have strong enough internet speeds? Do you have the right people who know how to run the equipment and manage the live streaming process? And do you have a congregation who's going to be supportive and comfortable with live streaming of their personal worship experience? If you're answering yes to these questions, you may think, well, I know my answer already. But even so, I encourage you to explore the other two questions just in case it's good to keep our options open. And so the second question is, hmm, would it be best if we recorded our in-person live worship experience and later released that recording for the online worshiping community? This can be a wonderful option for churches that perhaps don't have strong internet speed or don't have the expensive live streaming equipment available in their worship spaces. As you think about this, however, you might realize, hmm, I guess I need to know, do we have the right lighting and the right sound system? Do we have good recording equipment? And again, do we have a congregation who will be comfortable having their worship experience recorded for the online worshiping community? If you're answering yes to this, you're gonna find that it's not as expensive as streaming and allows for the beauty of also including a great editorial team, which brings you to that last question for this question, do we have the editorial team who could take that recorded worship service and create a beautiful, a bit shorter worship service for our online worshiping community? In both live streaming or recording of your live in-person gathering, you wanna think about that online community and their need for a shorter worship experience. So I hope you're also asking, is our worship team prepared? Is our congregation willing to create and adapt to a shorter worship experience. This would allow the online worshiping community to fully engage without losing their attention span and your in-person gathering to be safe according to CDC guidelines and recommendations. The third question is a different one and one that a lot of churches are having to ask because they don't have access to the equipment or their sanctuaries are older and don't have the lighting and sound system in place for live streaming or recording a live gathering. This can be an exciting question. Is our best option to actually create two worship experiences, one for the in-person worship gathering and another recorded worship service specific to the online worshiping community? This may end up being the most commonly used option because equipment is hard to come by and people who know how to run the equipment is hard to come by. But it is an expensive option in terms of people power and people hours. So if this option seems to be the right yes for your congregation, I invite you to ask a few follow-up questions. How can we adapt and adjust the work expectations on our current team members so that they don't get exhausted and burnt out? We're asking them to create and add a second worship service 
No different than the days when we would have added a contemporary service or a contemplative service or a communion service to our already existing Sunday service. And remember in those days, we would add a staff member or we would add musicians or we would alternate expectations. And so ask those questions. What expectations could we alter? What responsibilities could some lay people take on so that our preacher has time for two worship services and two sermons? What help could we give to our musicians or how might they alternate responsibilities with one another so that they also have adequate rehearsal and performance time to serve two worship services? As you explore these questions, I know it can get complicated. I'm not asking you to find a perfect answer. There probably isn't a perfect answer. So I encourage you to keep asking the questions. Invite the Spirit's guidance as you discern the best answer for your setting, and then step forward in faith, trusting God's guidance. Go ahead, take a step forward, even if it seems like an imperfect action. Take that imperfect action and see where it leads. Adjust and adapt to whatever's happening in your situation. And if you stumble along the way, that's okay. God will pick you up, turn to each other and say, well, we stumbled and find a new way forward. We here at Mary Cyphers Ministries want to give you the help you need to explore these questions and discern with your leadership team what's the best path forward for you, your people, and your setting. To explore more fully, please join us for a free webinar on this very topic this Wednesday, May 19, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Creating a hybrid of virtual worship that works for you is a critical step for pastors and worship leaders to take as you help your church rebuild, grow, and even expand into this new season of ministry and service. Sign up at the link provided. Invite your colleagues and team members to sign up as well. If you're watching this video after the webinar date, sign up anyway for an invitation to the rebroadcast and video link both available in June. We look forward to exploring these important questions together. I'm Mary Cyphers at Mary Cyphers Ministries. Thanks for taking time to join our video today.